When we decided to get married on 222, it landed on a Friday, which for our friends who are musicians and students was very tough to get them to travel outside of town. So we wanted to do something that could let all of our friends and family be there, even though we were keeping our wedding small. So introducing social media as part, as a big part of the wedding was key. And by using Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, we were able to let people see what was going on while they weren't able to make it. Deciding what to share with such a special moment in your life uh, can be kind of tough, but I think being able to show the process of planning a wedding, be able to talk about things that happen like dress regret. I confessed it to everybody that I hated my first dress. Um, and those are little moments that are super emotional for you. I feel that using all of these social tools that we have available and that are free to us has been incredibly beneficial because not only do I now have a wedding website, but I've got my own hashtag on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, I'm able to see all the posts that I've been tagged in on Facebook that I'm able to type in and immediately relive everything. Another benefit from social media is the fact that the vendors and the people that we hired gain many more fans and clients just because of seeing their work with us is a benefit for both sides. Yes, you have between 30 and 300 guests who all own iPhones. They can take pictures, they can take videos. All you have to do is write down a hashtag, create a name, put it on there, have people share it, have people send them to you, put it in a Dropbox, and you have instant memories right there. Like you've, you've got all this at your fingertips, so why not use it?